you are able to combine operators to form complex expressions. When multiple operators are used in an expression, they're grouped by their precedence. And if they have the same precedence, then their associativity decides how they are grouped. This table is sorted by precedence, so the ones shown on the top have higher precedence than the ones shown on the bottom. And on the left side here, this is the associativity, and we'll talk about this in a minute. Let's take the simplest example. If we have x equals to 5 plus 3 times 5, if there was no precedence, then this would execute as 5 plus 3 which is 8 and then times 5 40 but because we have precedence 3 times 5 gets executed first because the multiplication has the higher precedence than the addition subtraction and therefore this gets grouped together and gets executed first so 3 times 5 returns 15 and then we do the addition which is 20 and as you notice the assignment has lowest precedence out of all these which is right here and therefore that's why everything here gets executed first and only then the assignment happens so the final answer will be 20 and if we we did echo x we'll get 20. You could also force precedence by using parentheses so if you wanted the 5 plus 1 to be executed first you could put this in parentheses like this and now this will get executed first so the final answer will be 40. If we refresh the page we get 40. Now I mentioned associativity earlier and that basically means that if operators have same precedence then their associativity decides how they are grouped and as you can see in this table we could have right associative operators we could have left associative operators and we have operators that have have no associativity. Let me show you an example of what associativity means. Let's do x equals to y equals to 5 and here because the operator precedence is same because we're using the same operator then the associativity determines how they are grouped and because the assignment has right associativity that means that it gets executed from right to left and therefore y equals 5 is grouped together and then x equals to whatever this expression evaluates to. Let's do another example. Let's do x equals to 5, y equals to 2 and z equals to to 10 and then we could do result equals to x divided by y times z and if we look at the table here we see that the multiplication and division have the same precedence and therefore the associativity decides how they're grouped and the associativity for these operators is left that means that it goes from left to right and therefore x divided by y is grouped first and then the result of that expression is multiplied by z and finally the final result of that gets assigned to the variable result operators that have the same precedence that are non-associative can be used next to each other. So for example, you cannot have something like x is less than y greater than z. This will not work. However, you could use something that has a different precedence. So for example, the comparison operators have different precedence and then you could use that uh, in the same expression. So you could do this. Let's do some actual examples with the logical operators. So for example, if we had x equals to true and y equals to false, and then we did var dump x and not y we're going to get true. So let's see how these operators are actually grouped. If we go over to the table here, we see that the unary operator has higher precedence than the other logical operators. And therefore this gets grouped first and it gets executed first. And then the result of that gets compared with X. Another example is let's do X and Y or Z and let's assign Z to true. So here the end operator has higher precedence than the or operators. So this expression gets grouped and this will get executed first. And then the result of that will be or with the variable z. So the result of that is false and then it will be false or true and the final result will be true. And if we refresh the page we get true. As mentioned in the previous video we have two variants of uh, logical operators. We have this end and another version is this end right here. We also have this or and we have this or right here. And as I mentioned in the previous video the difference is that these as you can see have the lowest precedence and these have the higher precedence. To show you this in action let's do x equals to true and and then y equals to false and then z equals to x and y and let's var dump z and we're going to get false because this works as expected however if we change this to end as you notice the assignment operator here has higher precedence than end and lower precedence than this end so in the previous example when we had end this got grouped together and got executed first and then the assignment happened but in the case of the keyword end the keyword end has lower precedence than the assignment operator and and therefore this gets grouped together and z is equal to x which is in this case true and this basically just gets discarded so z will equal to true now and if we refresh the page we get true so to avoid confusion and unexpected results it is highly encouraged to use parentheses for two reasons one is that it will add more clarity and readability to your code and
then you are also being explicit on how you want your operators to be grouped instead of relying on the precedence and associativity. So in this case, if we put this in parentheses like this, we would not have that problem. It would return false. This concludes our videos about operators. There are a few more operators that I have not mentioned in these videos yet because we haven't gotten to that part of the course. In the next videos, we're going to move on to the control structure. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.